Welcome back, everyone. Steve Cleves is with us today. He's the finance director for Lima. Keep it busy. The budget approved, 120 million. Give us a sense. You kind of look into your crystal ball for the next few years. Things looking pretty good then. Yes, the uh, the budget process went uh, very well this year. It was smooth, uh, and we do expect that you know, uh, looking long term for the next four or five years, that our spending and expenditures will be in good shape. Yeah, sales tax, is that the biggest revenue that you guys see? Sales tax is county money, basically, uh, okay. but our, uh, our income tax uh, is our main source of income in the general fund. Gotcha. We are also talking budget and, you know, dollars and cents, and we think about inflation, and everybody's been hit. You go get groceries, you see how that's, that's going. Did we have, like, the perfect storm, I guess? You have pandemic, and we hear so much about that, and shipping problems, and lack of resources. Where Was it just all this came together that caused this issue? Yeah, the, the, base, uh, the basic issue is that uh, your uh, demand exceeds uh, what you can offer right. for sale in the stores. Uh, and uh, the reason why the stores don't have the goods is because of uh, supply issues. Yeah. And uh, people off work for a period of a year or so, and the production was down, and now there's a su supply issue even when people get back to work, everything's backed up. But I expect that'll be ironed out uh, by the end of this year. And uh, inflation historically has been about 3%, three to three and a half. Uh, and that's likely where it'll settle and uh, towards the end of this year and going forward. But in the meantime, the, you know, the prices are about 7% higher than they used to be. And it'll be interesting to see if they come down I, I know that uh, manufacturers and vendors are, you know, they won't be in any hurry to lower the prices. Right, right. Well, it's a very good point because I, they were in a hurry to, to jack them up and they did have additional costs, that's true. And I've heard that very same thing. It's going to be a much slower graduation, I would think, for them, right? Yes, I think so. It would only yeah. be competition that would force those prices down, but I don't expect them to come all the way down. I think maybe halfway down yeah. from, from that 7%, but that would be about as far as you could expect them to drop. Is it the same for gas prices that if if things start to level out there that that's gonna take a little while, especially now going into the warmer weather months? Well, the biggest impact on our gas prices are, uh, it's a supply issue again, but part of our supply issue is that we have embargoes and restrictions on imports. You know, uh, between uh, Iran and Venezuela, they could bring back about three million barrels a day by the end of this year uh, if uh, if we relax those uh, embargoes. And uh, in the U.S., uh, we were producing a little over 12 a million barrels a day. We dropped to about 11 during COVID. Of course, the prices dropped. A lot of shale oil uh, wells were. Uh, shut in but we expect the uh u.s output to be back up to 12 by the end of this year and possibly higher it'll come back quick uh, so you know going forward in the by the end of this year and in future years oil should be back from about 90 where it is now it could go as high as 100 or so yeah. depending on what happens with uh, russia uh but uh, you know around uh $70 a barrel will be the price going forward, plus or minus $10. It always bounces back and forth. Well, and you probably already knew the, the impact that Russia had. I, I wasn't aware how big of a producer they were until the Ukraine situation came up. Does that, that That's really scaring a lot of people, too, about that oil production. Yes, it is. And that's, uh, you know, Russia is about a half. Uh, they export millions of barrels yeah. a day. And in the Ukraine, they used to send a half a million barrels a day through the uh, that country, uh, which uh, provided a lot of income, uh, but they've cut that back by half, yeah. and that's all in the mix, in the in the political issues there. You know, uh, Russians have they've got that lever on the Ukrainians, and they also have a lever on the Germans and the Europeans because yeah. they sh they ship uh, millions of barrels into Europe. Yeah, be interesting to see when things level out. Well, thanks, Steve. We appreciate it. Good seeing okay. you as always. Don't go away. Medical news coming up next on Noon Edition.